let's have a little bit of chat. Um, I wanted just to get on real quick and show you guys, a lot of you have been interested on um, about my trip to Las Vegas. So I'm gonna quickly run through that, show you some pictures of what happened and what we saw and what we did. And then um, more toward the end, I will give you an update on Gracie and how she's doing and how my daughter is getting along and so forth in Pennsylvania. So first off, let's start with Vegas. So I signed up for a workshop that happened to be on that Saturday. So Jim and I decided to go and just kind of make a little bit of a longish weekend out of it and just enjoy ourselves for an extra day there. So we just went, um, flew there and checked into our hotel. We were staying at the Venetian. I've never stayed there before and I've always been curious to see what that whole canal area is like and so forth. So we checked in, the room was absolutely beautiful. Um, had nothing you know bad to say about it just a stunning stunning room um very comfortable and very very nice loved every second of that and just the whole hotel and everything about vegas is just over the top beautiful and just done so well so we of course had to go down and check out the whole canal area and how they make it look like venice so we've been to venice italy before so we really wanted to see you know how they tried to get that whole atmosphere together you know at the venetian and they did a beautiful job i mean the way the sky is painted to look like it's outdoors um just a stunning little you know area to walk through it's actually not little it's big um a lot of shops just beautiful i just think that they did a gorgeous job um kind of like it's more of like a disney version of venice of course but what are you gonna do i think they did an amazing job so we had dinner there that night and then the next day i went to my workshop it was a full day it's like a seven hour um all day thing so it was at a different hotel and so my husband just stayed at the venetian and just enjoyed himself and hung out by the pool which is a beautiful pool area um they're working on one of the other pools but this area was open and um, he enjoyed himself just relaxing and so forth while i was gone all day at my workshop which I really enjoyed, had a great time, met the nicest people, very good. I'm glad that I went, it was really, really nice. And then Sunday was our day to just have to ourselves and do whatever we wanted to. So we went shopping, I did a lot of uh, looking around at the different malls. We went to the, um, the forum shops and that place is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, loved it, I'd never been there before. Looked around at a whole bunch of things. Um, I found a bag that was absolutely stunning at Chanel that I was so tempted to purchase. But just lovely stores. I found an, a bag that I had never seen. It just came out last that last Friday at Louis Vuitton. I took a picture of that. Because um, I'm kind of looking for a, a beige taupe bag and I don't know really what I want. But it was fun looking around. I didn't end up purchasing, purchasing anything major. Um, while walking around, Jim and I both got some oxygen. We were at an oxygen bar and that was interesting. <laughs> We had a lot of fun doing that. Found some macarons, which is oh, so good and done in the traditional way, gluten-free, which is wonderful. So I had a couple of those. Um, just a really good time. And then the last night, um, we went to Hell's Kitchen. And this is the first Hell's Kitchen restaurant that has opened so far that's made to be just like, you know, the experience that you see on TV. So that was fun. Um, the chef working the pass was one of the winners from a different, you know, previous season. Um, they had the red kitchen, the blue kitchen. Um, it was just fun. It was just really, really fun to just sort of feel like you're experiencing being on Hell's Kitchen. We watched the show for many seasons. So we just had such a good time. It was a quick little getaway. I really enjoyed my workshop. I really enjoyed hanging around, you know, and seeing everything there and walking around outside and just getting the whole lay of the land and watching the fountain shows and watching the volcano show from the like patio porch thing from the Venetian all of it so good the gelato it was just a lot of fun <clears throat> quick getaway but we packed a lot into that time and enjoyed every second of it and my Neverfull GM worked as the perfect bag to take for that situation and I'll show you how I pack it I'm gonna try to put up a video on how exactly I packed it for the trip and whatnot and what went in there but it worked out perfectly and fit under the seat in front of me like a dream so very happy about that I chose that bag as my travel bag this time so yeah we had a great time and so thank you to all of you who were uh, you know sending wishes and and nice happy thoughts and wanted to see more about what we did so there you go
Okay, so one of the burning questions on everyone's mind is, how's Gracie doing? How's Claire adjusting? How's it all going? Um, number one, I miss both of them terribly, as you can imagine. Um, I knew in advance this was going to happen, so I prepared myself as much as possible. Um, but just putting away all the dog and puppy stuff and, you know, it's, it, was, it was a sad thing, but we are adjusting, it's okay, and Gracie will be back with us in less than a week for Thanksgiving week, so I'm really, really happy to see my daughter and Gracie. But let's just give you a real quick look at what's going on in her life now. So, they both moved to Pennsylvania, and both of them are adjusting well. Uh, Gracie has been an absolute angel. She's met so many dogs and different um, areas that they've walked to, and some in the, in the building that they're in. She's made a lot of friends. Um, she absolutely loves the maintenance men. <laughs> um, she even has a friend who's a pet pig, which is a really fun thing for her too. She's never met a, you know, an animal, creature, human, whatever that she didn't love. Um, she even plays with bugs. So, you know, whenever she's outside, she'll like boop them. She doesn't want to hurt them. She likes to play with anything and anybody loves everything. Um, she has discovered that her very favorite position in the apartment is up on the back uh, of the couch, of the, of the sofa that they have there, which overlooks Main Street in the town there and she just loves being the neighborhood watch. She has to see what's going on and you know, if something is going on that she doesn't care for, she'll let you know, but she's not a barker. She's real sweet about it. Um, she'll just give a, a quick little, you know, rough kind of a thing, which is <laughs> so darn cute. But you know, she's just making sure everything's good in the neighborhood and loves that spot. That's just the place that she just bounds over to and sits there and watches. So she's enjoying that so much. For Halloween, uh, she was an angel. She wore little angel wings and had had a little treat and she just had a really good time with that so I, you know I miss seeing her at Halloween but I got to see the pictures of her wandering around as a little angel um, she's getting super fluffy and super fuzzy and um, we have an appointment for her when they, she comes back the next week we have an appointment for grooming at her groomer that she's used to here so we'll get her all trimmed up but for now her hair's all floppy and you know and fuzzy um, she has some favorite pillows some favorite areas of the couch she loves to just snuggle with all the fuzzy stuff in the house and the blankets and things and she's doing great she's doing really really well um, so yeah she has been an absolute champ that girl is so smart and wonderful so we couldn't ask for anything better but I cannot wait to get my hands on that cute little puppy poo I just can't wait so um, we're all excited to see them both and uh, that'll be fun so that's coming up soon um, I will be having Thanksgiving here at our house with just a few relatives we've got my daughter's both going to be here my grand puppy and uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law so I'll be doing a Thanksgiving meal too don't know if I'll get any of that filmed or anything we'll see how it all goes but um, that's what's happening thank you guys so much for joining me I appreciate it and thanks for listening and I hope that you guys have a fantastic day bye